Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. It is Memorial Day weekend, so um, number one, first and foremost, please remember to take a few moments and remember the fallen from uh, the United States military, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice, you know. Remember, Veterans Day is for those who served, but Memorial Day is for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. So take a few minutes and think about the, you know, families that have imp been impacted by the loss of a loved one, neighbor, friend, um, throughout time. So, but we are off today. Michelle yeah. doesn't work uh, for <laughs> today and tomorrow. She does work the holiday on Monday though, yeah. but, um, so we're going to do some outside stuff today. So mm -hmm. Michelle's getting ready to do uh, some weeding yeah. of a brick sidewalk that we have. I'll show you that in a minute. And also we have the silky chickens back here. Mm -hmm. Their coop, it's a cute little coop, but the yeah. problem is, is that they won't go into it. So with all the bad <laughs> weather we've had, they're... They're, what's the word you use? Stupid. Oh, They're outright. stupid. <laughs> you know, they don't have the common sense to come in out of the rain. So we think it's because they have to go up that little ramp. So I think silky chickens are just sh shorter in stature by nature, and I think they have a tough time. Yeah, it's shorter. Trying, you know what that's yeah. about. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we got a new coop. I'm going to go ahead and put that together. Um, it's a ground level entry and we're going to see, plus it's a little bigger run, run area. Yeah. So, and then, I don't know, we'll see if somebody needs this one for maybe a bunny rabbit or something. Yeah. I don't know, but it, it's tough. They, they won't go up the ramp so that the new one doesn't have a ramp. So we're going to show you today's activities mm -hmm. between weeds, mowing the grass Flowers. and getting the new coop. Yeah. So, but I think Inky laid an egg. Let's go check. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, Inky doesn't take advantage of the nesting area. Here, open the nesting area. Show, show what that was like. Yeah, lift it up a little bit. Yeah. So you can see there's a nice nesting area, and it's unused. Nope. <laughs> so Inky lays her eggs out here. Downstairs. Downstairs. So Michelle's going to grab the Inky egg. <laughs> Very gently grab the inky egg. It's so little. It is so little. And dirty. And dirty. <laughs> well, what do you expect? It's in mud. Yeah. <clears throat> we had terrible rain last oh night. My God. As a matter of fact, I think it's funny is the big girl's water, look at their water filled all the way up to the tippy tippy top. That water goes all the way up to the top. So, and there's mud spots in there. Woo, there's a lot of dirt in there. But we have a project. I'm going to fill in those holes with some dirt from out front. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you what the projects are out front and out back. One of the projects is going to be putting the garden in. You know, you can see from the where the grass is different. The size of the garden last year, it kind of went up along here over down and came all the way back to about here and over but we're cutting it in half this year so the garden is only going to be where you see <clears throat> the four stakes there's a the stake there's a the stake there's a the stake somewhere over there and here's one over here so it's only going to be this area right here uh, and I am going to turn the dirt by hand I can't justify renting a rototiller for to, to, to rototiller it would probably take 30 minutes because <laughs> the the grass was tilled last year or not the grass the dirt was uh tilled last year so the dirt is kind of loose as it is but and then i have all my <laughs> you can see we're doing some work back here but i have all my <clears throat> tomato cages ready. I have 12 tomato plants and 12 tomato cages. So we're all set for that. And I do have my plants ready for as soon as I turn that dirt over. So that's one of the projects is getting the garden in this weekend. Another project 
um, that Michelle's going to work on is all this Lily of the Valley, I think it's called. We've had this here for years, and you can see where the dirt is. Some has already been removed. My aunt, who lives next door to us, right over there, <laughs> that's my mom's sister, um, my Aunt Rena. Um, she came over and took some. She wanted some of this, so she took where the dirt is. But Michelle is going to remove what we have. She wants to make a straight line up to the gutter. So we're going to get rid of everything on the left-hand side. One of the disadvantages of putting a bag in your trash and then it pours down rain is that it fills up. I don't know if you can see that, but that water is three-quarters filling that trash can. It, it, it shows how good Walmart trash bags are. Yeah, it shows how good Walmart trash bags are. They uh, withstood, so... Michelle's out here. She has all of her stuff doing all of her plants. She's putting in her flowers as normal. This is her normal routine. Yeah, they got flooded out pretty good last night. There's her bags that the birds were trying to build nests in. So she has put the little metal pieces in their spikies trying to keep them out. It doesn't hurt the birds, but it deters them from going in there. So... And then Michelle today is, look at all this mess. Ugh, it's gross. That's the problem with having a brick sidewalk is you need to pull out whatever filler sand there is um, probably every other year, every third year. The water makes the sand kind of like concrete in between or mortar. But um, eventually through time as you're pulling weeds, all that comes out and it just leaves it empty. And when it's empty... You can see, and especially, yeah, well, right here where you see all this debris, this is a little low-lying area, and it floods. So, now back with the chicken coop, I said I was going to fill in dirt. What we're doing is all of this that you see here, this grass right here, all the way over, um, I am going to kind of scalp that off. I'm going to take all that because there's a lot of weeds, if you look. It's like a lot of chickweed. Um and even some mossy stuff. So it's not really grass. So what we're gonna do is I am going to um, uh, scalp that down, take it down about two to three inches, and then I have some topsoil over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of fill in a little bit. And Michelle and I have to have a discussion on whether we're going to put seed or go get like maybe uh, six pieces of sod to put in there so that it has nice grass in here. So we still have to discuss that. I saw a, a carpet of artificial turf. Yeah, at Big Lots. Michelle saw nice. fake grass and she said, well, maybe we can put that there. <laughs> and so here's the rest of what Michelle's doing, the rest of her flowers. <clears throat> and then she has all of the flowers, they're behind them, but this is what's going to get planted in her baskets that she got at Tractor Supply, Supply. Tractor Supply Company. So that's Michelle's project. <clears throat> she does. So you can see what it looks like. And by the end of this video, I will show you what this sidewalk looks like cleaned up. Now, me, on the other hand, my job, well, it's not really inside. It's just going to be in the garage. My messy garage. Please don't mind the messy garage. By the way, I don't know if I ever showed it before. This is how... I take care of all my chicken stuff. So I usually do about seven days at a time. I get everything together. I have all their bins in the back. So I do it seven days at a time. Here's all their snacks, their snack baggies. So, and I keep in there, there's cracked corn in one, there's uh, pellets in the second, and the third is mixed. So I, I kind of pre-mix some of the uh, corn and the um, pellets together and this one's just pellets and this is the food that I feed the silkies it's more of a ground food but anyway that's not the point the whole point is going to be this even though it's upside down this is the new silky house so I'm going to uh, go through step by step how to record uh, how to record it <laughs> See, I can't even talk today. How to build it. 
All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and just open up the box and get the instructions. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat this morning. Not quite sure what it is, but if you hear me coughing a lot today, don't cry for me, Argentina. I think it was just because it was uh, a little hot in the house last night. I turned off the air conditioner and probably that was a bad idea. So, got this opened up and we're going to find the instructions somewhere in here. Okay, we found the instruction manual. Of course it was on the bottom on the other side, but we still found it and I got rid of some of the packing material and the lid. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and make sure all the parts are here. So if you open up, it has all the parts listed on page one. We're going to go ahead and just kind of set them off to the side out of the way. I'm not necessarily putting them alphabetical order, uh, but I am going to separate them out. And that's going to do it. So here's all the parts. I got a couple behind there. My recycles, my dirty recycles. Sorry about that. <laughs> and one nice thing is it is a nice asphalt roof. So it is going to last. And that's the sides. All right, let's get this baby put together. Okay, for ease of operation, the only tools required is a Phillips head screwdriver, but it does say that you can use a drill or a driver. So we'll use the driver, make life a lot easier. However, I noticed when I was putting that one that they're in currently together, there were a couple of like really small, gentle, uh, vulnerable position screws. So I did use the hand screwdriver instead of the driver because I was afraid it was going to split it. So I do have the screwdriver just in case. So looking at the instructions, we'll put our tools right there. The instructions have all the, pa uh, all the panels listed. So <clears throat> here, I'll show you the picture. This hopefully is what it's going to look like when it's done. It's just the hutch and a pan that's on the ground. So First thing we're going to do is take A, B, and C, and we're going to put those together. One of the things that I forgot to mention is, is that it's using uh, four of the P2 screws. So if you're following along at home, <laughs> it's the P2 screws that are putting C, B, and A. A is over here. There is a little ledge um, that I, the roof is going to go on. It's, it starts at a, about an inch and it goes down to nothing. So you wanna make sure that when you put them together that it slants towards PC. And I am not putting the screws completely tight yet. I'm just getting them in pretty close that I can just go back with the hand screwdriver when everything's done and tighten everything because you don't want to have everything completely tight and then all of a sudden something's screwed up and you got to go take it apart. So, but again, you want it to slant towards the back. Another thing that you'll see is there is on the inside a little lip on the bottom. You want to make sure that the lip is facing inside, not outside.
Now, I said that the one that they're in currently was the same brand. One of the things that's tough about putting these together, even though they have the hinges already on, they do not have the latches already on. So when you're building it, the doors have a tendency to open. So just be prepared for that. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our center piece in, which is part D, which is right here. And again, it has that little lip. That little lip has to go inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. This again is why I do not put these screws as tight as they can go until it's all together. Are done steps one and two already and it is getting very warm and humid in here so please excuse me if you see sweat rolling down my face <laughs> all right next we're going to put the flooring in so there is a floor in here and that's what that little lip is for okay so we're just going to set that down in there i gotta find it where is part oh it's f times two it's these over here All right, and these just get set down into there on that little lip. All we're doing is setting them on that little lip. will say I'm gonna take the camera over is if you look inside they have a coating on there so you want that coating facing up the plain wood goes down but this coating is meant so that you know if, if you have birds or any kind of animal that um, start to um, go to the bathroom it's gonna go on this I don't know whether it's vinyl or what it, I'm not sure what the material is, but it is a coating on the wood. You want that to face up. And they just slide in there. They just sit. You don't even have to uh, screw them in. The next step was putting in this divider. Um, it's easy. It just slides up and down in the track. So there's a track there. So you can see all you're doing is sliding it down in. There are no screws. It just separates the two areas. So one of these areas I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put um, like pine shavings. The other I'm going to put straw and the birds will be able to do whatever they want to. You know, they can sleep in one side. They can lay eggs in the other. It's up to them. But the key thing I wanted to show was that this thing literally just slides in. Okay, so the next thing is we put the roof on and the roof underneath of it, you can see it has hinges on it. So there's one, two, three hinges pre-applied. And we're going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to sit down because uh, <laughs> I don't want to strain myself. So we're going to go ahead and put in the screws for this. 
and it, it this is one of the bad things about being like not good vision because <laughs> um, I can't see real good on where the, the little pre-drilled holes are so we're gonna go ahead and push down on this and let her rip I am using the hand screwdriver for this because it's like I said earlier, there's sometimes just some delicate locations that you don't want to take a chance on. And this is certainly one of them. But what I'm going to do is I am not going to put them all in at one time. <clears throat> I am going to put one over here. And now I'm going to put one over here just so that I can get these things lined up. That's all I'm trying to do at this point. I can, I have no idea because the camera's on a tripod what you're seeing right now. <laughs> I'm hoping that you're seeing my face and what I'm doing, but yeah. So I'm putting three screws in, one in each hinge just to make sure that it's aligned the way that I want it. So we have one screw on each one so far. Now we're going for the third. And I'm just saying one of the things about these pre-made things, sometimes things don't align. The pilot holes are nowhere where they need to be. In addition, you're using three screws. You're using three screws for the hinges. There's only two pilot holes for each one. so. I guess you could get a drill and make your own pilot holes, but these screws are pretty darn sharp. And as such, they go in not too bad with just a little bit of pressure. So again, I'm doing these all by hand and then we'll be able to open this up. All right, so that is Five out of nine. All right, I'll start recording again when they're all done. Okay, they're all on, and so you can see it does open up. So that's kind of nice to have, I have to say. I enjoy that. All right, let's move on to the next page, which is going to be hinges. Hinges on the roof. The next thing that I did was I put on the hinges. So the hinges allow it to stay open. So um, I can go ahead and close it now. And if I open it, I can open it and it can stay open if you have to clean it. So it was simply four screws. There's two there, two there on the hinge. It was the same screw, the P3 screw that was on the hinges. So now it can stay open on its own. Next, we're going to put on the front two extender panels. <laughs> Michelle took a water break and come to see how I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Look, so, there's so much room for activities. <laughs> You're so funny. Should have been Look at all this floor all space. So Is much aerobics in here. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. That was a Step Brothers reference. Look yeah. at Michelle doing pop culture. Uh, pop yeah. culture uh, reference. Yeah, right? Go uh -huh. figure. <laughs> so she's doing really good on hers. I'm going to yeah. walk it out here and show you. Like you can see how far along she is. Yep. So, but that's why she's drinking the water because it's hot. It's not that it's so hot, it's humid. Yeah. 91% yeah I think I saw it was 91% humidity so I feel like I'm in Florida I know how oh, I Jersey. wish I wish we were in Florida so well today is like it it is but we don't have rides no we don't. so all right I'm going to put on my sides now this uses the longest P1 screws okay now this one is you want to have the door open while you're putting these on because it allows you to get into where the screws go in and use the uh, use the driver. So, 
but it's a long screw and rightfully so because this thing, let, let me just say, this entire thing was 197, hold on, $197 plus tax at Amazon. This is not some huge quality piece, trust me, but it has three silky chickens in it, okay? They're not some run against the side of the wall kind of animal. You could use this for a, uh, I don't know, a rabbit or whatever. But I guess what I'm saying is, you know, you want to be very cautious putting it together. You want to be very cautious moving it. But once it's in place, this thing is actually a pretty good piece. Like I said, it has the asphalt on top for the roof. It has the coating on the floor inside, so it's not going to get rotted. You just have to be careful with it. All right. So, all right, that's one side down, one side to go. Let's get this other side in and we will be good. Oh, and the other thing is on these, the, um, what do you call it? The wire always goes to the inside, not the outside. The wire is always on the inside. And there are wooden dowels on these, so you gotta make sure you're using the side that has the holes to accept the wooden dowels. I mean, I hate to say it's idiot proof, but it is pretty darn close that if there's literally 20 words in the instructions, it's all pictures, but um, you'd be hard pressed to mess this up. The only part that's confusing is some of the smaller screws. Some of the smaller screws for like the hinges, you just have to be careful that you're putting them in the right spot. But other than that, a lot of this is pre-put together. Like, you know, the door stops are put together. Some of the hinges are on. A lot of this is pre-built. So kudos to the brand. I don't even know what the brand is. Let me tell you what it is. It is, it is unknown. <laughs> it said it on the box, but. Anywho, I will make sure that I link down below. I'll put the link to the Amazon page where I bought it from, and you'll be able to know what it is. All right, let's keep moving. So we have the uh, run extenders on, and now we are going to uh, attach the pen. All right, so I'm going to go grab that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're putting on the front of the pen. Uh, this is two of the P2 screws. Again, make sure that the dowels align with the holes. The dowels hold it together. It's, it's kind of like putting together that, uh, what's that called? Solder furniture. Put the dowels where the dowels got to go and then screw it in. is on. Now we are going to put the uh, put the run roof on. So I'm going to go grab that. And this thing is nice because it does have a hinge on it that you are able to get into the uh, chicken run itself. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on. Now one thing I want to say is it's going to use the P2 screws, four P2s, but you want to make sure that you lift up your, your um, uh, interior door because you want to pull these as far against the um, I don't even know what to call it. You'll, you'll hit a block right here and they're level with each other. Um, and also, there is a wrong way to put this on. This one has four pilot holes on it. This one that opens does not. So you wanna make sure that you have the four pilot holes towards the coop. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's squared off because otherwise you're gonna run into problems. 
So square that thing off. And now you're going to take your four screws and you're going to just drive them things in. There are no pilot holes in the bottom for where to go. So don't worry about where you're putting them because there's only one place that they can go. That's it. And now you can lift up your coop. This is how you can get to your birds or your rabbit or your weasels, or your squirrels, or your otters, or whatever animals you choose to keep. <laughs> All right, the next thing that I did was I put on this hinge, it was two P3 screws and a, and a uh, clasp. So the clasp, it just opens and it locks in, and you can open the door, you close the door, there's a stopper in there that's pre-assembled. Push it against the stopper, and you can just close up the latch but it's only two p3 screws and it was on this side and it was also on this side so we do have two two latches two doors this way everything is secure and we went ahead and got the latch on so it was just four screws and the latch um, they did have pilot holes on the top they did not on the bottom and this just uh, closes like that so that nothing can get out it's really a simple latch um, I will say that this latch and the two latches on the side I used a hand screwdriver not the driver so that it would um, be gentle because I wasn't sure how sturdy it was that is it it is built so the next step is going to be getting it out into the backyard and putting the chickens in there They're like, Chris, we gotta start over again. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but we'll move this around every yeah. week or so to get new grass under them. Or they'll be happy. Just I just hope they go inside. You can see they had to go up a steep ramp to get inside there. So Oh, I need to get them food. They're out of food. <laughs> you can see they're definitively happier. They're definitively happier in the uh, new coop. They're already inside of it. Like, I didn't even think they would go inside of it until tonight. I mean, my goodness, they're already going inside of it. So this is working out exactly like we wanted it to. Michelle and I are going to take a little break. Actually, we're pretty much done, but uh, we're going to take Arthas for a ride. Right, Artie? Yeah. We're going to go... You know, normally I don't really trust him to not run away. So what I did was, you know, I put his collar on so it has his license and his rabies shot on. But he doesn't go outside without a leash very often. But I let him run outside and I said, you want to go for a ride? And he ran right to the car. And I said, no, 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 you got to go potty. And so he did. He ran into the grass, went to the bathroom, and then got in the car. So he is such a good dog. And he's just waiting for Michelle. Here she comes. Oh, uh, he gets up when he sees mommy coming. You know, he loves when his mommy comes in. So we're going to go. I ordered a cheesesteak, even though it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I was oh hungry for God. a cheesesteak. I mean, good and plain. <laughs> good and plain. Candy and uh, cheesesteaks at 10 o'clock in the morning. But we are done. I'll show you the fruits of our labor when we're done. And uh, 
the garden is going to be tomorrow. That's going to be a different video, but we're going to go pick up our cheesesteak. <laughs> Not really a healthy lunch, diet friendly, but Donna Burst cheese fries and a cheesesteak with extra cheese and uh, fried onions from Pat's. Michelle's Bon Appetit. Yum. And Artie loves the <laughs> cheese fries. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love Donna Yeah, I know, but Artie gets more than his fair share. The lady was watching us giving him some through the window when I got him. <laughs> she was. Mower's out because Michelle decided to mow. One of her favorite things is the stripes. <laughs> she loves her stripes in her yard. I love the stripes. I know. <laughs> My favorite. I know. She still has a little bit left to go. Well, Michelle wound up getting her sidewalk done, 100%. You can see yep. everything's out of it. It looks really nice. She did awesome. a great job. And the chicken coop is together. And uh -huh. I do have the old coop. I'm gonna, I cleaned it up and now it's drying out right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on like the Facebook Marketplace or, yeah, Facebook Marketplace. I guess that's the only place to put it, but, uh, it's a shame I didn't have it for that long, but um, it just wasn't working. They wouldn't go yeah. inside. What? Too lazy to go up the ramp. Yeah, and you know, the big chickens can't use it. They're too big. It's meant really for, it would have right. worked for silkies if they would have went up in it, but ours are too stupid. Well. <laughs> but if you had bantams or a rabbit <clears throat> or silkies that would yeah. use it, it, it would be fine. So, yeah. but you can't use it for regular. So we'll see. I'm just going to put it pretty cheap out there. <laughs> But uh, we ate our lunch, and that's going to do it. We're, I decided to do, a, I'm going to do the garden on a different video. I'm going to do it later today. I want to rest up, and it's going to be its own video. <laughs> so, but it's going to be interesting because I'm going to do it in two and a half minutes. All right. Garden in two and a half minutes. Plus, <laughs> a little teaser, Michelle's going to dance in it. Oh, gosh. You are. I am. So. <laughs> Make sure you watch that video and watch it all the way through so that you can watch Michelle. I'm going to dance too. All right. Yeah, we'll dance together. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Happy Memorial Day. Well, no, you can't say Happy Memorial Day. It's not, it's not really a thing like Happy Fourth of July. It's, uh, and, you know, have a safe Memorial Day. Thanks. All right. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.